Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Hi, this is Jihan and this is Osman. Osman. And in today's video, we are going to show you how you can save money in Canada. Which is very hard to do by the way. It's not an easy task. So be prepared to get a lot of opinions. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you watch till the end and obviously like it if you like it. So to be able to save money in your daily life, you gotta start doing budgeting. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's something you gotta do. And to help you out, I will be linking my personal budget through the Google Drive where you will be able to just go ahead and download it and follow the template. You don't have to do all the work. You're welcome. Now, back to the budgeting point. They say, in order to be able to save money, you gotta divide your income to three ways of spending it. 50% of your income would go towards your needs, which are your rent, your food, utilities, your bills. 30% of your salary or your income would be directed to the things you want. Things like your new sneaker, a new AirPod, you wanna buy new clothes, things that you want but you don't need. And now 20% of your income need to go into saving. I know, I know, a lot of people don't want to hear the word saving, but trust me, you will need this money sooner or later. It could be either long-term saving or short-term saving for like maybe saving for the next summer trip to Europe or saving for two years from now for your study, something like that. Or going to Quebec. Or going to Quebec, because we are going to Quebec, but we don't have to say for that. Yeah. <laughs> now, the biggest question here is, how can you do that? I know it's hard for people, which why we are here to help you. Now, think of what is your biggest expense. Now, I can talk from our experience. Our biggest expense used to be... Rent. Exactly. Now, here is how you can save on rent. Maybe start by finding an apartment that is not close to downtown because usually all apartments that are close to downtown they will be a little bit extra expensive than the places that are in the rural area or a little bit away from downtown. And this is exactly what we did when we were living in the rental unit apartment. We did not live right the heart of downtown. We were a little bit farther away which is why we end up saving tons and tons of money because we don't have to pay for parking, we don't have to pay for city cleaning, we don't have to pay for basically anything. All the things are done by a rental property management company and we end up paying less money in terms of rent because we are not living nearby downtown. The other point where you can save money on rent is by having a roommate. You don't always have to rent a whole apartment by yourself. If you are especially a student, you can just rent an apartment with another student or I know many couples end up renting a big house with another couple, at the end of the day, they're all gonna end up saving money on rent. Another point where you can save your rent is by living in other people's basement. Some people have a like, finished basement with just one bedroom and a small kitchen. Why don't you just go ahead and find places like this and start living there and saving tons of money in the rent. You don't have to always rent from a big agency like other property management company. You can just talk to owner direct face to face and ask them, hey, can I live into your basement if it's empty? Now the other category that's also fall in our needs, it's food. We can't live with food, it's something we need, obviously. But I'm gonna show you or tell you a few points where you can save in this regard. There are two type of grocery stores that I want to bring to your attention. One which is a little bit luxurious and the second is called affordable chain grocery. Just like no frills or food basics, Walmart. Now these groceries are mostly affordable food. You'll find everything you need just with a little bit of price maybe if you are following such a specific diet say like keto diet or like gluten free or you know low carb stuff like that you might not find all your needs in these affordable grocery stores but you'll find all of your basics now talking about the luxurious food chain these obviously they will be a little bit bigger more fancy
fancier, they'll have more products, but you'll always find that $1, $2 extra on a regular item. For example, these stores are such as Sobeys, uh, Superstore. These stores, they will have sales from now and then, but they will still not be as cheap as the regular grocery stores. Now, another thing I want to mention here, please do not go every day and spend your money on dining out restaurant food is much more expensive than what you can cook at home and basically the quality of food is somewhat similar in fact whatever you're gonna cook at home is going to be more healthier than whatever you can eat outside and most of the time we ended up eating junk food not like actual organic food therefore we both most of the time prefer cooking at home well I don't cook. She loves to cook, I love to eat. So therefore, win-win situation. That is true. Um, now, I know, you know, it's sometimes you are so tired coming out of school or coming out of job and you don't want to do the cooking. It will just be so easy, you know, make a phone call, get a delivery or, you know, dine out. There is another point I want to mention here. If you meal prep every weekend, just like how I do it, every weekend I think of what we want to eat during the week and I cook all of it in bulk and then I will think of all the recipes that we want to eat during the week and I will cook all of them at once first it's gonna save me a lot of time in the kitchen because all the cutting and the cleaning and everything it will just be happening once a day and then during the week when we are hungry or busy with work we will always have something to eat in the fridge it's not like we'll be tired and then end up calling. The other point is that we eat halal food, which is not really available around here. Plus here, there's not a lot of halal restaurants that we can eat outside. So that's why we end up doing the halal grocery and cook it at home. Cheaper and it's better for us. Now to all of those Pakistanis, guys, stop eating a lot of biryani. I know it's a very good food and the smell and the taste of it is just amazing. And she, by the way, cooks really good biryani. Uh, but please try to eat some healthy food like salad, quinoa, <laughs> and all of that. I know there is no comparison between quinoa and biryani, but still, I gotta give you this health tip from trainer Usman Zia. <laughs> this is so funny because tomorrow is Saturday and he literally asked me to make biryani for him and you know he would just eat healthy food one week and then he will have like another week just of cheat meals he calls it but anyway we're talking about saving money here now the other big categories of spending money is in utilities where you end up paying your electricity and all and we are gonna give you a quick tip in saving in that. Now, another thing that you can get a big saving on is your phone bill and Wi-Fi. Try to go to different companies to get their quote and ask them how much they are going to charge you because once you have more variety of company, more competition, they will try to give you best rate possible. And you don't always have to go to bigger uh, networks. You can go to Chatter, Fido, don't go to Rogers and Bell unless you have a corporate discount or maybe a membership discount with them because for us we are not gonna go there we do by the way get Bell and Rogers sometimes but only when we are bundling because doing the bundle up you can get the best discount possible and when I say bundle you need to get service of TV, cable, phone, Wi-Fi with just one company which makes it easy because you will have the full support of them as well as you will get a good discount on all of these stuff. Besides that, always look out for promotional offers. Check your email on a regular basis because most of the time these companies sent you the promotional email. Hey, we can give you this much data for this much money. We can give you unlimited text for this much money. So watch out for those emails because sometimes you get a stealer deal from those promotional emails. I know I always ignore them, but sometimes I do check them 
for good promotional offers. Another tip on saving utilities. Now, some people are using dishwasher and I am one of them. But here's the trick. If you are using dishwasher, I encourage you to use it either over the weekend or run it at night. Because during these times, the rates are much less than when it's during the daytime, which is the peak time of using electricity. Now back to the other section where you end up saving. Now we talked about that you can spend up to 30% of your income on things that are good to have, like your Netflix subscription or your Spotify subscription subscription or buying clothes and stuff like that now something I used to do when I was student is I don't actually buy myself one subscription of Netflix however I share it with my other friend and we all end up sharing the bill as well the other thing is I don't need to have a premium Spotify I can still just use the ad Spotify it's free and it's fine if I just you know listen to one ad like whatever time they are actually sometimes funny and you know it gives me a little bit of distraction and I like that something else I want to mention if you are a student you will have a lot of discount a lot of free trial just to show that you are a student and you have your email student or sometimes they would ask you for your student id make sure to use all of those all of those you could get like one year of free disney plus one year of spotify premium use all of your free trial and then just cancel them the other thing i encourage everyone to do and i actually make osman do it as well it's spring cleaning now you can always go shopping and see that oh i want this shirt i want this jacket but trust me if you go clean your closet you probably have the same shirt the same jacket just sitting over there forgetting about it and you never wore it so i encourage you every spring or every quarter of the year just go ahead and clean your closet go through your things that you end up buying around the year few things that you probably bought because you need it at that time and you don't need them anymore so those things you could always sell them on the marketplace on kijiji on facebook or you can always donate them by doing that you'll have a clean closet you will know what are the things you need and you are not just gonna end up buying things because you're being emotional you just buy things because you need them now let's talk about big savings big saving is having a long-term plan for your retirement you should always have a good retirement plan set up in your mind not only in your mind theoretically but in a practical way as well you should have an RRSP account in the US they call it 401k here they call it RRSP there's another saving account which you can open um, which is called TFSA this account actually allow you to invest your money into Canadian stock market which historically has been going up 7% so each year it gives you good amount of interest back in your saving so this is the magic of compound interest you are compounding your money you are adding it every day this is a hidden wealth which is sitting over there so as soon as you hit 59 plus or 60 years you can have up to two million dollar in your account and you can use that money so you should always think of your retirement another benefit of these retirement saving accounts you get a lot of tax break you are not paying any money on it for instance for our retirement plan our company is matching our funds up to four percent so if i'm contributing four percent of my paycheck my company is also going to contribute four percent of that amount of money so in total I will have 8% going every month to my RRSP account which is really really great most of the people don't do RRSP because they think that getting a cash better than putting it into the RRSP but they do not know that they are paying huge amount of taxes they are not getting any tax break they are not going to have once they are about to retire so we believe having a saving account is a must have now these type of account that Osman talked about are for long-term saving now for short-term saving I encourage you to open a regular saving account where you put money you can either do it monthly or bi-weekly and it also can be auto deposit to your account from your checking account and you can just kind of save it for like 
a trip or something like that. I have been looking to a lot, a lot of different bank accounts that are which one that gives the good interest and which one that doesn't have a monthly fee and all of that. I came across a bank called Neo. It's a Canadian online bank. So all of your banking will be online for you people who doesn't want to waste time standing in line waiting to talk to somebody or trying to open a bank account on the spot you can do each and everything online they give interest 1.3 percent on every dollar you have in your saving account this is much much better than any bank account out there now if you would open bank account with other big banks like RBC or TD or CIBC because these bank accounts are super big super rich they don't really have a good interest rate on your money because they have a lot of clients however these new banks or these banks that are online mainly they have a really really good matching plus they don't have any monthly fee they don't have any minimum amount that you need to keep in your saving so it's really pretty easy and everything online. Osman and I actually opened a bank account with Neo. It was very quick. We already got a credit card like within like 10 minutes. And here's the other thing. They wouldn't care too much if you are new to the country. Some banks, they don't want to give credit cards to new immigrants, but this bank is not the same. So make sure to check it out. I'll put the link down below. If you open a bank account using that link down, you will get $35 in credit as well as soon as you open your account. So that's free money out there. All right, so this is it for today. Hopefully you guys get value out of this video and save tons and tons of money. If Remember not, us if you end up saving. <laughs> If not, please start making a plan towards your saving because this is the most important aspect of your life. We really appreciate that you watched this video. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure as well to like the video. That's one way to show how you can thank us. Thank you very much and we will see you in the next video.